The federal government says it is waiting for the Sudanese government to give assurance before evacuating Nigerian students from Sudan. We would analyze that today on The Breakfast. And Twitter reinstates do verification tick for top accounts without pay. Twitter has long been on for the most used social media platform in the world, but when Elon Musk owned the platform, he started stripping blue verification check marks this week from accounts that don't pay a monthly fee. It left public agencies and other organizations around the world scrambling to figure out a way to show they are trustworthy and avoid impersonators. We will be discussing that this morning on The Breakfast. And also don't forget, we would also be analyzing the big stories on the newspaper today. Welcome to The Breakfast. My name is Namgul Agaji. It is Technophile Tuesday this morning, and we really hope you will enjoy the show this morning. And I am Maureen Menong Izigwe. Welcome to The Breakfast. Okay, uh, f before we enter the top trending, we'd like to apologize to you that we're starting a little bit late. Like we always say, Lagos happens to you when it you least expect it. Yeah, and it did happen to us today. <laughs> yes. Being the first work day of this week, traffic crazy, mm. wherever you are, Find your way to your office. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we'll go to the top trending uh, topics uh, uh, right away, and we're going to be talking about uh, uh, LASMA. Uh, LASMA recovers more than 100 used baby diapers from accident victim. Uh, you know that there was an accident uh, uh, yesterday, and one of the victims had more than 100 used baby diapers from the accident, and. Uh, they, they recovered it and he has been taken and handed over to the police right now. Yeah, the suspect also had a huge sum of money of different denomination. The incident uh, disclosed uh, in a statement by Director of Public Affairs and Enlightenment Department of LASMA, Adebaya Trafik. Well, the, like, as you've said, he's been handed over to the police. Mm. But you know what this would mean? To be caught with used diapers, over a hundred of them. Yesterday we're talking about... Uh, climate change and yes. all of that but mm -hmm. this will eventually endanger the climate even more because mothers are going to start burning their children's used diapers mm -hmm. and to be caught with diapers in Nigeria uh, may mean this a uh, different thing from to be caught with diapers in America for instance we know where those ones are we going. know where they are uh, so going. It's, uh, uh, the, well another one is uh, nurses midwives protest exclusion from uh, a 40 percent pay rise by federal government and we also heard, I think yesterday, the lecturers also were, um, were, were crying that they were not included. And a lot of people who have come out to say they were not included, we're asking the question, who then, who then is, is going to benefit the 40% the pay, pay rise by the... Uh, Nurses, by the mm. way, have been, uh, and other health workers have been calling for mm. pay rise since uh, 2016. So you can understand why they are crying mm -hmm. over this exclusion. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, uh, there's so many things that are trending on uh, the social media and everywhere else that we have uh, come across, but uh, we'll just quickly uh, move on. Now, we would like to inform you, like we said earlier, today is Technophile Tuesday. We'll be looking at Twitter and what the implication of the removal of the blue tick is and other alternatives, if there are any. And then we'll also be looking at our people in Sudan that need to be evacuated. But first of all, we'll go to of the press after this very short break. <laughs> 